Good morning, and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Monday, April the 8th, 2019, and yes, this is episode 3000. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode is titled, The Resentence. Stay tuned. It was in November of 2007 that God gave me the burden and the challenge and the direction to start uh, the Morning Manna podcast. And originally, at least for the first five years, Morning Manna was reading through the Bible one chapter a day, Monday through Friday. The goal has always been the same, and that is to help people to get a spiritual focus for their workday. Can you imagine how long it took to read through the Bible one chapter a day? It took a long time. But it was such a blessing. And if you want to listen to any of those ep- episodes, if you go to talkshoe.com slash morning manna, you can listen to some of those. I also have the link uh, in the description on our website as well. It's been such a journey and such a blessing. I'm so excited today to be sharing with you episode 3000. A couple of years ago, I took some time off to re uh, imagine and rethink morning manna and then came back doing the more devotional style that I've been doing for the last two years. So thank you so much for being a part of a, a great day of celebration for me. And thank you for those of you who listen to morning manna. I hope it's been a blessing to you and will continue to be so. One of the great privileges that I have in uh, and serving the Lord today is to be a part of the church online team at Life Church. Uh, Life Church's main office is in Edmond, Oklahoma. They have 33 campuses across the U.S. They just opened up number 33 yesterday in Kansas City in the Northland area. And uh, it's been a blessing. And what I do on Sunday mornings is I have the privilege of sending out live streams on the Facebook and YouTube platform. So yesterday I sent out eight live streams uh, to the Life Church Facebook page, Pastor Craig's personal Facebook page, and the Life Church YouTube channel, and work with a team of chat hosts and welcoming people and ministering to people and serving people. And it's just been such a blessing. I look forward to that. In fact, we're going to be doing one this evening at uh, 7 p.m. Central Time, 8 p.m. Eastern. So if you go to the Life Church Facebook page and you watch the video, I'll be the man behind the curtain sending it out to you. This message this week by Pastor Craig was so powerful. It's, uh, it's week two of a series called Things Jesus Never Said. And the whole subject matter of yesterday's message uh, was on happiness and about how God can can change things and make things new for you. The message um, began in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, when we read the story about the woman who was caught in adultery and how that Jesus responded to her with grace, or as Pastor Craig said, hyper grace. And I will include a link in this description because it's an amazing message. When uh, When he finally... Uh, said to her, neither do I condemn you. Go now and leave your life of sin. And how God can make things new. In fact, Revelation 21, 5 says this, and he who is seated on the throne said, behold, I am making all things new. Also, he said, write this down for these words are trustworthy and true. Now, there he's specifically talking about a new heaven and a new earth. But this is also quoted from the book of Isaiah. And it's just amazing how God can take our lives such as they are, broken, shattered, 
and make them brand new. And so one of the most phenomenal parts of this message was a statement, and I knew this would come out, and I've already shared it on Facebook. There's a graphic picture of this, Pastor Craig preaching, and it's called The Resentence, and that's why I've titled today's episode The Resentence. Are you ready for this? Listen to this and celebrate. When you rebuke the enemy and return to God by repenting of your sins and receiving Christ, your spirit is reborn. Your mind is renewed. Your life is rebuilt. And while you rejoice, you receive reconciliation from our Savior, and you reap the rewards of relationship causing revival to break free. I'm telling you, as I read that again, it just so blesses me. Let me read it to you again. And I'm going to, the last time I read it, I was emphasizing the re-prefix, but let me just read it to you. And I want you to let this wash over you. When you rebuke the enemy and return to God by repenting of your sins and receiving Christ, your spirit is reborn, your mind is renewed, your life is rebuilt, and while you rejoice, you receive reconciliation from our Savior, and you reap the rewards of relationship causing revival to break through. God is in the business of renewing and restoring all those who come to receive him by faith. He's done that for you today. Remember that. Don't be stuck in your past. Press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You're a new creation in Christ. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Father, thank you so much for this truth. May it encourage everyone who listens today. In Jesus' name, amen. Our website is morningmanna.com. My email address, bruceturner at gmail.com. Thanks so much for listening, subscribing, and especially for sharing. By the way, if you've never gone to search for morning manna like on apple podcast or google podcast it would be really helpful if you'd leave a review that really helps raise the awareness of others about morning manna till tomorrow morning this is bruce reminding you to choose joy